Hi everyone, early update for you. Very, very <clears throat> quiet markets, quiet start to the month. So um, I'm not seeing any real trading opportunities at the moment. So um, I'm gonna be very careful this month anyway, especially while everything's still going on. Um, I think we need to be very selective. Um, just really wait for those, you know, good setups. So, but yeah, me personally, anyway, I'm very selective. I'm going to be very careful which trades I take, and they, you know, they need to meet all the rules, and I'm willing to wait for them, you know, as long as I have to. So, um, quick look at the dollar index. Index. We had this uh, rejection candle here yesterday. Just um, not quite coming up to 100, but thereabouts, 99.95. You'd have thought from that actually, especially as it closed bearish as well, that we would have seen that follow through to the downside, but um, not yet, not yet. So we might actually see this 100 or thereabouts, this zone tested again. Um, that's what I'm thinking. We might even see on the smaller time frame, um, we might even see the area actually broken, a, a new high but then fail to close above. So um, I am, you know, I'm looking for shorts on the dollar. That remains the same. It's just waiting for, you know, the right opportunity. So we could see this high broken or this zone tested. And we might see this kind of <clears throat> bearish flag setup. Something like that. and uh, yeah, looking for downside. But looks as though we're gonna test this area again or this high, so absolutely no, no trade yet. But that's what I'm kind of looking for, or potentially what I think may happen on the dollar index. Um, just my, mark, uh, my trading view, for whatever reason, I'm not sure it's my internet or my trading view, it's very slow at the moment. So I do apologize, it takes a few seconds to change from chart to chart. Well, we did get there in the end. So trying to look at Euro dollar now. Um, you can actually see I've got an alert set here. I'm looking at something like this. Got that there. Look, we've got these lows. So I've connected those lows like that. So we have our impulse uh, correction, looking for the next move to the upside. So just go down. Just want to go down to the five minute time frame because I know. Um, well, I know there's some intraday traders out there, and I know John talks about a five-minute strategy, etc., etc. So, I'll I don't necessarily trade five minutes, but I'll just take a look. Um, so we're in an area actually now, which is close to the bottom of this channel. But you can see the price action at the moment. This was the kind of last swing high. So if we are going to see that push to the upside. It's this high here that we're going to see broken. Okay, we need to see price closing above there. Preferably come close above and retest it. But nothing yet. Very, very quiet markets. You can see these five minute candles. It's in this little mini uptrend. You know, that could actually, that could quite easily just break to the downside, make a new low, and then. We might see buyers coming from there, but absolutely zero zilch at the moment. I've put an alert just above that high anyway. It'll tell me. There we go. Um, you can see in the brackets, five minutes swing high broken. But um, yeah, that's what I'm looking at really on Euro dollar. That's the kind of pattern I, I see forming 
triangular wedge type pattern um, but this you know where we would normally look for a wedge to break um, not it can, can be as like a reversal it can be a reversal pattern and a continuation pattern actually um, but this continuation pattern impulse this descending wedge break to the upside We've got something similar on um, dollar Swiss, but it's the opposite. So just give it 10 minutes to change chart. Good, I'm not in a rush. Um, yeah, we've kind of got the same thing, but in the opposite effect, we've got Connect those lows there. Look, we've got. If we connect those highs there. So it's very very similar, isn't it? We've got this impulse down, potentially a corrective pattern. Maybe. You know what I'm looking for is, I would like to that push up, breaking the previous high, and then rejection, and then sellers come in like that. That's what I'd like to see on a you know ideal basis. Otherwise, if we don't get that, we don't get that new high in the structure, and then breaks to the downside. We're obviously looking for price to start closing below this zone here. I'm actually going to draw a little. Sorry, I'm going to put an alert in there, just saying. Um, wedge break so yeah I do love these alerts on trading view I've actually just deleted I have I had too many alerts set I've just deleted every single one and I'm gonna go through them um, on a regular basis so you know just in case we don't get that move to the top on us rejection if we come and break this low here we're gonna break this bottom of the channel this wedge and then look for <coughs> sellers, look for selling opportunities. So I need to see a close outside of this zone. Um, dollar yen was of interest as well. I had a little zone in mind where I was interested in selling from if it was to get there. So I'll just try and draw that out uh, I'm just thinking what what's uh, the best time frame yeah this is um, so I'm looking at this here is this impulse down and now we've got this kind of consolidation going on so we do have these highs here where we saw sellers come in we can kind of it's that area isn't it there where this was support resistance 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 fake out here so I'm very interested if price was to come back into that level there so I'm just going to draw an alert um, and just type in you know sell sell zone so I know price is in an area where potentially sellers could come into the market we'll see you no know, you could might be a little flag pattern going on you could draw that there or you could actually equally do a flat kind of level where we see price failing to break out it wants to break out but it's just failing to do that so but if i'm going to sell the best place for me is back up here and that's you know looking then when that alert goes off and if it goes off this is an eight hour time frame so um, oops my screen's just gone totally black my end I don't know where it's gone black your end very strange money to reboot the computer um, this is where I want to sell from if it gets there so got these, um, I don't know what you call them actually, tweezer bottoms, 
Um, but um, if we get there, I'm very interested. And let me drop to a smaller time frame. Um, here we had a, a double top pattern look, broke the neckline, didn't really come to retest it, unfortunately. So we need to look for some kind of rejection pattern, reversal pattern in this zone. Um, but yeah, that's where I want to. That's ideally, that's ideally when I want to sell from. Um, there's an, one more chart which is not dollar related. I'm looking at that's Aussie CAD. Let's have a look. I'm not too sure. I think I've already set an alert on this one and it's not gone off. Yeah, it's not gone off yet. So just looking at um, just looking at this structure, potentially let's get this right to the book to the letter, tips of wicks. You can see I've got an alert here. This is either going to break to the downside, okay? Um, this is an impulse to me correction. I would expect this to break to the downside, but it could have another one more move to the top of the um, the wedge before we break down. So you can see we're in this very small, tight consolidation. So I'm personally. I'm open really on this, but um, my I would like to see price have a four hour close above this zone, which would indicate potentially that we're going to see that move to the upside. Failing that, you know, if we close below outside of this wedge, um, ascending wedge, then that could be uh, the start of the downside. But I'd like to have that, an opportunity to buy take it to the top and then look for a reversal in here to then sell, hoping that it will break to the downside. So uh, yeah, as I say, very, very quiet, nothing really to trade, but certainly opportunities to look out for. So I hope that's given you some food for thought. Uh, obviously you may have your own analysis, maybe different to mine, um, but you know, that, that's kind of my point of view. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you've seen something there where you can, you know, you can keep your eye on. Oh, one more, one more chart actually, sorry, um, is pound. Nearly forgot that one. So on pound we have our kind of impulse, well not kind of, we do have our impulse. We were originally looking at this as potentially um, a flag pattern, maybe triangular structure, you know, something like that. Looking for price to break to the upside out of the triangle and then on for the next impulse. So we've broken out, well, we faked out here, we closed that side of it here, but not a lot happening. So, you know, we could be wrong about it actually being a triangle. Might be actually be some kind of box range going on. Possibly. You know, everything, everything revolves around that dollar, doesn't it? But, um, you can't see it now for some reason, but yeah, I've got an alert. Um, might just move that down a little bit, actually. Down into uh, where we had this low here. Okay. Um, resistance there. So this is the zone I'm interested in. I've got my alert there. And as you can see, uh, I've got in brackets bottom of box range. So if we can come down there, then look for reversal patterns, change of cycle, etc., etc. 
Um, so, I mean, this is just, you have to have an idea of what's, what to look out for, what potentially may happen. We'll see if it does. So if we can get that, this, if this is a flag, breaks to the downside, then you're looking for some kind of reversal pattern, change of cycle to uh, trade to the upside and then potentially outside of this box range. So there you go. Some dollar pairs of interest plus Aussie CAD. Um, I hope that helps you in some way, if you liked it. Um, I will speak to you very, very soon. Please trade very, very carefully. Um, be very selective with your trades. All right, guys. Catch you later. Bye.